Hi, welcome to Microsoft SQL Tutorials. My name is Amir. This is part 13 SQL Joins. In this session, we will learn what is a SQL Join, what are the different types of SQL Joins, and how to work with SQL Joins in real-time scenario. First of all, we will know what is a SQL Join. A SQL Join clause is used to combine records from two or more tables in a database based on the related column between them. These tables are mutually related using primary and foreign keys. Okay, for an example, throughout this session, what I am going to do, I am going to use the table, employee table and department table, which are both are related with the primary and foreign keys called department ID. If you see in employee table that I am having department ID as the column, which is related to the department table as the primary key. Okay, now we will see what are the different types of joins that we are having. In SQL Server, we are having four types of joins majorly. One is inner join, left outer join, right outer join, full outer join. In some of the databases, left outer join will be called as left join, right outer join will be called as right join, and full outer join will be called as a full join. If you see the picture format on my screen, the SQL joins consist of the four different joins that we are having. One is inner join, right join, left join, and full join. I will explain you one by one, one by one over there with the scenario along with that and also with the syntax. Now we will see first of all what is SQL's inner join. A SQL inner join returns when there is a match in the both tables. So if you see on my screen inner join keyword select the records that having the matching values in both the tables. This is the pictorial format. I'm having a table A and I'm having table B. So if there is any values with the intersect values in the both the table, then we'll fetch that kind of records over there. Now let me show you the syntax. What is the syntax for the SQL inner join? Select column names from table one, inner join table two, on table one dot column name equal to table two dot column name. Let me switch to SQL Server Management Studio. Over here, we'll work on the tables, two tables. One is employee detail and department details. If you see on my screen, I'm having the both the tables, department tables and employee tables. Let me expand the tables and let me see what are the columns that I'm having. If you see, I'm having a department tables. I'm having department ID, department name, location name. Let me fetch what are the records I'm having over there in that one. Select star from department underscore department details. And let me execute what are the records that I'm having. If you see in department ID, I'm having 10, 20, 30, 40. And there are some of the null values. And the department name, I'm having accounting, research, sales, operations, and technologies. If you see the location, I'm having New York, Dallas, India, Boston, Chicago. And in the same way, let me expand the employee details table. If you see, there's a lot of columns that we are having. Employee ID, first name, last name, current salary, previous salary, tax amount, date of joining, gender, city, and department ID. If you see in the both the in the both the tables that I'm having department ID as a common column over there. Now let me let me fetch the records by using inner join. I have already having some of the code with me already. I'm copy pasting as of now. If you see, select store from employee detail, alias name ED, inner join with department details DD on ED.departmentID equal to DD.departmentID. If you, if you execute this query, you can see the result on, on the below. If you see, I'm having employee ID, employee name, all the columns, including department ID, Till here, this is the records related to the employee details. And from there, if you see department ID, department name, location, as we said, it will return the rows when there is a match, right? So department ID 10, 40, 20, if you see, these are the matching records what we are having. So that when there is an inner match, there are records only that we are going to fetch it out. But there's also a lot of records in department table with the null values with, uh, you know, technology, marketing, which are in India. Now we are not fetching it because of inner join will fit the records where there is the match only. What is the syntax for that one? 
select store from employees that is the table name inner join with department table table 2 dd on table 1 dot column name equal to column 2 dot department id right now if you observe noticeable there is some of the performed where clause that also we can do that we can use several operators can be used to fetch the records from there now what i am going to do i am going to use where condition to fetch the records only related to department okay the department id is 10 now what i'm going to do et underscore department underscore id equal to 10. now you can see only related to the department id equal to 10 that you can fetch the records by using inner join clause now we will see left outer join left outer join keyword returns all the records on the table left table 1 that is called table A and match the records on the right table table B. The results if there is any results mismatch in the table B it will be shown as a null if there is any mismatch. Okay now let me show you the syntax in the pictorial format first of all. If you see this is the table A it is going to fetch all the records from the table A if there is any join if there is any matching records that will fetch it from the table B. If there is no matching record, then it will fetch it as a null values in our table. Okay, but if you are having any, uh, you know, where we are going to use the table two dot column, when you are having null values over there in the table two, then we are going to use the where condition. So the syntax for the left outer join: select column names from table one left join or left outer join from table two on table one dot column name equal to table two dot column names where if it is the null values table 2 dot column num name is null i have written the queries for the left outer join if you see on my screen select star from employee details ed left outer join or left join okay on department details on ed dot department id equal to dd dot department id so what will happen it will be for all the records in the employee detail it will fetch all the records from the left table that is nothing but employee details and it will be displayed on screen whereas if there is no values related to the depot uh, related to employee details on the left hand side then it is showing as a null on the right hand side let me show you that let me execute this query now if you see there are how many records that we are having in the employee there are 12 records out there so there are some of the mismatch over there on the right hand side table that is nothing but department table if you see over here i don't have any records there i am having null records in that case it is showing as null values okay now let me execute the fair condition which we are having department dd is null then it will fetch us only the values which are having department details as null okay this is the all about the left outer join now we will see what is sql right outer join the right join keyword returns all the records from the right table if you see in the left outer join we will fetch all the records from the left table now in the right join we will fetch all the records from the right table and the matched records from the table that are the matched from the left table that is also is null from the left hand side where is no match so in the simple scenario i want to fetch all the records from which are in blue color that is table b i want to fetch all the record that is right right table which are matched in the table a if there is no matches then it will be on the left hand side we will show it as a null we will see the syntax over here for the right outer join select column names from table one right join or right outer join from table 2 on table 1 dot column name equal to table 2 dot column name if there is any null values on the left hand side you have to check it out then where table 1 dot column name is null now if you see on my screen i have written right join query for the right join select star from employee details right join on department details table on ed dot department id equal to dd dot department id let me execute that if you see on the left right hand side i am having all the columns if you see the which are already all the details related to the department table i am fetching all the records then if there is any matches on the left hand side then i am going to fetch it all the records from the 
employee detail table but if you see the records 30 that is department ID 30 I don't have any records on my left hand side so it is giving as a null values in the same way if you see over here I am having null but there's no records related to that one that's why it is going to fetch all the records as null it is going to be showing as null on the left hand side okay if you want to where condition where department that is ed dot department underscore id is great equal to 10 then if you execute if there is any matching records is there then it will be check it out so let me show you there are the department id 30 is not available then what will happen it won't show any records now if we are going to make it dd dd so in the department detail i don't have department i have dpt underscore id if you see what happened i'm having a record on the right hand side but i don't have any record on the left hand side so it is going to fetch the records as null now we will see full outer join the full outer join or full join keyword returns all the records when there is a match in either left or the right in simple way that we can say it is a combination of it is a you know it is a merging all the records from the left outer join as well as the right outer join what are the columns that you are going to be mixed up that you know all the records it is going to be as a full outer join in a simple format if you see this is the table a and table b if there is any matching records will be there it will be fetching all the records and if there is any if there is any null values on the left hand side and the right hand side then we are going to fetch it out by based on the where condition in simple way full join is nothing but left outer join plus right outer join okay the syntax for the full outer join is select column names from table 1 full join or full outer join from table 2 on table 1 dot column name equal to table 2 dot column name so if there is any null values that you want to fetch it out then where table one dot column name is null or table two dot column name is null now if you see on my screen there is the query for full join or full outer join so what i'm going to do select star from employee employee details full join on department details dd on ed dot department on dd dot department id let me execute that if you see there are 10 12 records on my employee details and there are six records on the for the department table if you see over here what is happening if you see first of all what it is going to fetch it out is there any matching records on the both side it will fetch all the records from the employee the employee detail table as well as the department table see over here what happened there are some of the records we don't have any fetching record first of all it is going to be left outer join then if you see on the so that's the reason we got the null values over here and if you see on the right hand side there are some more records are there so that what happening there's no records on the left hand side so this is nothing but there is the combination there's the left outer join as well as the right outer join nothing but full join thank you for watching this video have a great day